Hi, this is DreamlineStudio.com, and today we're going to show you how to create a flash intro. This is going to be quick, to the point, pretty easy stuff. Um, we're going to create um, a flash intro that involves fading graphics, some sounds, and a hyperlink. Everything you need for a, uh, a cool flash intro. So let's go ahead and start. Um, if you have Flash 8, don't worry about this part. Um, it's already 2.0. If you have CS3 or CS4, then you'll need this this uh, this uh, small tutorial right here. So um, let's go ahead and start. Um, we go to File and go to New. And instead of 3.0, the default 3.0, uh, choose 2.0. Okay, you'll see something like this. I'm going to drop my workspace to 50%. You don't need to do this, but I'm doing this so you can see everything on the screen. Uh, most everything on the screen. So um, let's go ahead and start importing graphics. So uh, this, gra this layer, I'll be importing one graphic and uh, click on this icon to uh, insert another layer. Okay? So uh, let's, um, let's go ahead and start. Uh, let's import a graphic. Let's go File import to stage and we'll select uh, Apple okay alright now let's um, click on this layer to import a separate graphic so we'll go file import to stage and we'll choose Microsoft okay so uh, it looks something like this. Now, obviously, you can choose your own graphics. Um, you know, this is just a simple example of what you can do. Now we need to add frames on the timeline for for these to animate. So let's go ahead and uh, choose 50 frames. So um, on frame 50, just select the frames and drag it all the way to frame one. Now press F5. As you can see, these are pretty solid. Okay, now with this graphic selected, actually, we, let's go ahead and create um, graphics for these. Although these look like graphics on here, it does. It's not graphics for Flash, so we need to actually uh, give them a graphic state. So right-click on this graphic and choose Convert to Symbol. I'm sure you can't see it. Let's see. Hold on. All right, Convert to Symbol and make sure that the graphic is selected okay click OK do the same thing with the window right click convert to symbol and make sure that that is a graphic as well okay now we're going to assign uh, motion tweens to have these graphics fade in okay right now they're um, you can totally see them but we're gonna add a little little fade to them okay so uh, let's go ahead and name these. Layer 1 will be Apple. And layer 2 will be uh, Microsoft. Just so we know. Okay. Um, with the first frame selected, okay, we're going to right click. We're going to create a motion tween. This is what's going to make it um, fade in. Okay, let's give it about, I don't know, 20 frames. Hit F6 on your keyboard. Okay, go to your first frame and go to Window, Properties, Properties. Okay, this panel should come up. Okay, so when you select this frame, make sure you also click on the graphic as well. A lot of people miss that part. So make sure you click on the graphic as well. Go to color, select alpha, and make sure that it's set at zero. When you do that, what happens is that the graphic actually fades. As you can see, it's fading in. That's what you want. Now, it all, you also see this uh, Windows logo there, but you don't want to see that. You want this to come in second. So select the whole Microsoft frame or layer. Okay, Drag it all the way to, to after you see this dot here. You want to make it just stop right in there. Okay, and repeat the process. Right click, create motion tween, and maybe you want to stop this around 45. Select the frame. Also select the graphic. Go to your properties, color, drop down to alpha. 
and make sure that it's set at zero. Okay. See all this leftover stuff? I don't I don't like that. So what I do is I kind of select this where it ends right in there. Right click and remove frames. Make, makes it kind of neat right in there. All right. Now if you move the dragger all the way through, you'll see that it's actually creating this cool fade in um, animation back to back. All right. Now let's go ahead and add sounds to it. Create another layer. Now I already got sounds for this, so you'll have to you know search the internet for sounds. I use MP3 format. Um, select this first frame because we want to actually add sound to the Apple coming in, and then we're going to add sound to the uh, Windows logo coming in. So with that selected, um, we're going to go uh, File, Import to Stage. Okay and we're going to choose the sounds and we're going to do icon sound now when you do that it's going to seem like nothing's happening but what what happened is it threw it into your library you just need to assign it so with your properties panel which is uh, windows uh, properties properties um, make sure that um, when you do the drop down that the sound that you just imported will actually show up so select it when you do that, you'll see a little sound uh, spectrum right in here showing you that, in fact, there is uh, sound there now. Okay, Now you want to add sound to the Windows uh, logo coming in. It actually comes in right around here. So um, I would press F6 on your keyboard so that it starts there. And then choose the, uh, the icon sound again. Now let's test it. Let's try it again. Now I want you to see how choppy it is, so watch this. See how it's kind of choppy? Well, let's fix that. By default, uh, Flash will give you a, um, a frame rate of 15. So go to Modify, Document, I'm sorry, 12. Change that to 30. Now you're going to see the animations uh, come, come to life. So Control, Test Movie, much better. All right. Now we have an, uh, a flash intro that has uh, fading in graphics with sound. Now let's go ahead and uh, add an enter website button. So let's add another uh, layer here and name this enter. Okay, we want the enter button to actually come up after um, the, um, the, the logos have faded in. So we're going to select a frame after uh, all these frames and what we're going to do is um, press F6 twice, once and twice. The reason why we do that is because we, we want to isolate a frame right in there. So with this isolated frame right in there, just select that, bring up your text tool, and um, I don't know, choose, choose black, and create some text here. Okay. I brought up my properties panel and I just kind of um, added some text there, added the size of or changed the size of it right there. Okay, now we want to create that a button. So with with that selected, uh, we want to right click on on the text. We want to uh, convert to symbol, and we want to uh, make it a button state. Okay, now let's add an action to it. Let's make it actually go to a website. So click on your uh, your button and um, go to your your action. Okay, select your text and basically um, bring up your actions palette, which is F9. Um, go to uh, browser network, double click on get URL, and type in your uh, URL here. Okay, now let's test it. That's Control Test Movie. And there you go, a flash intro. Uh, you got fading graphics, sound, and a hyperlink. You're all good to go. Thanks for watching.